of our season can make or break a show. And lucky for us, a few passed the test and got renewed for season two. Shows that made the grade on the hot list. Frighten me sometimes, Dolores. Why on earth would you ever be frightened of me? Well, if you weren't scared of her in the first season, you probably will be this time as the AI looks to become much more than attractions in a park. We've ridden 10 miles and all we've seen is blood. Is this really what you want? Fans of the show had to wait quite a while for this and HBO must be excited too. The show was the premium network's most watched freshman offering ever. It starts Sunday. There is beauty in what we are. Next to another show about a group fighting to survive, The Handmaid's Tale is at number two. Is this what freedom looks like? Only time will tell in the new season of the series based on the Margaret Atwood novel by the same name. Though this season will be going off book as we follow what is to become of Offred, aka June and the Handmaids. You will feel the pain of his judgment, for that is his love. Looks like Gilead will be as vicious as ever. The first season of the dystopian series won eight Emmys and two Golden Globes and became a fan favorite. It resumes April 25th on Hulu. My name is June Osborne. I am free. But these sophomore series aren't all set in a fictional future. Some are in a historic past. Genius is at number three. When I was your age, I knew everything, but I was wrong. The premiere season of the first ever National Geographic scripted show brought to life the scientific genius of Albert Einstein. This season is all about Pablo Picasso. The only way to be a true artist is to work day and night yourself in it completely. The man who introduced the world to abstract modern art will be the centerpiece of the 10 episode season. Let the brains begin April 24th on Nat Geo. Things are more important than art. No. And finally, it's not only dramas serving up seconds. Brockmeyer is at number four. Jim Brockmeyer, how are you? Still dreaming about getting back to the major leagues. That's how I am. Hank Azaria's Brockmeyer dreams of a position as a major league announcer, but he has competition, a likable newbie. Raj is an 84. Out of what, like 200? Out of 100. 200 would make your 67 look even worse. Another thing in the way, he has a major league drinking problem, which New Orleans only seems to aggravate. Watch his stumble to the top April 25th on IFC. I may not be in the major leagues, but I've really upped my game when it comes to my alcoholism. Shows that are back for more on the hot list.